A lot of changes here at the radio station in New York. I can barely keep up with them. What's going on? Someone told me, uh, well, you know, Stutter and John got fired from his hour-long request show. Yeah, is he going to survive? Did he get some good news? <clears throat> with, uh... Yeah, I think they carried him over salary-wise for a while. Oh. I think that was the word. I... Silver lining. Yeah, his silver lining was they didn't cut his pay right away anyway. It's like a parachute. Yeah. He'll fall slowly to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> but he will fall. Yeah, you're going to get to the ground. Tom evidently is protecting him. I see. Salary wise, so. Uh -huh. I think. I think that's accurate. Am I right, John? That's the word I got. Yeah, because everybody after the big, you know, blow up here that Thursday before we left was wondering what the silver lining was. <laughs> Did you? Wasn't it that you get some money or something, even though you're not working? Yeah, yeah until uh, they they carry me through December, and then uh, December, and then they Jeez. and then and then they talk to me about something. Oh, okay. So I don't know. What's they that? Talk? That is the end of our fiscal year. <laughs> well, uh, Chuck Rose said that they're going to pay me through December, and then then Tom's going to talk to me or something. Like that. Oh, <laughs> talk he's going to talk to you. You know what? I'd rather not be paid as long as Tom doesn't <laughs> talk to me. Yeah, can you get out of that? Did Tom try to corner me yesterday? He goes, uh, you know, I've told Tom, I don't want to see you after the show. I'm so tired. Howard, you know, my son is in production. I want to show you some of his work. Oh, dear. And I went, sure, Tom. You know, what? Do you, it's a guy's kid. Yeah, but he can't do that in some more convenient way for you, like I put together a reel for you, a videotape here, take it home? Yeah, and he wants to stand there and watch. Watch you watch it. Yeah, make sure I watch it. Watch this cut. <laughs> my son, my son. Now Look at see this. here. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. The but but like, I don't want to stand there with Tom and watch his son's production. Right, work. especially not right after the show. Yeah. And, and hey, and I like his son, and I, you know, uh, give me a tape. Very simple. Oh, he just doesn't get it. I want to be left alone. He can't not be annoying, I don't think. No, he has to. He's like a <laughs> chick. Let me alone. Let me alone. Let me be, will you? <laughs> And no matter how many times he says he gets it, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. I get it. Now look at You're this. You're his friend off the air, man. I know. Yeah, we're buddies. <laughs> Yesterday my office was locked because Casey's supposed to have my office unlocked for when I get off the air. So uh, I said, Casey, just because then Tom sees what's going on and then he gets involved. But Tom got a key for the office. But I don't want to. I just I don't want to see Tom after the show. But right across the hall, it's hard to miss him. Yeah. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> hey, John, when we have guests in today, especially like in St. Clown Posse, keep the dog with you. Sure. You're in charge of that. If I see the dog in here during guests, I'm firing you. Oh, dear. But you'll have your salary till December. <laughs> so, uh, so Maze has got fired. Yeah, so Maze got fired. Who's, I didn't even know who Maze who's, was. Yeah, Maze has been in and out so fast, I never even got to meet him. He's on after Cabby and Kane, but then Cabby and Kane split up. And Cabby, Cabby has his own show now, Overnights. Yeah. I saw Cabby in there tonight, yeah. but I thought they'd just given him back some overnight shifts. They split them up. Yeah. Chuck Rose putting his stamp, the new program director, putting his stamp on the radio station. His Rose wow. stamp. The Chuck Rose stamp. Well, how is that? I mean, is it... Cabby. Uh, uh, ready for some breakfast. Yeah. Oh my God! Cabby was so happy I got fired. We were on the street, and he just started like laughing oh, and screaming that's not nice. down the street. Hey, John got fired! Screaming. What John do you say, Cabby? Are you happy about being separated from Kane, or are you unhappy? I asked for it. Oh, so you're I happy? Did. How you doing, Bianca? Yeah, I did actually. So I mean, I just you know, John, congratulations. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Still kicked your ass, fat boy. Oh, what? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, sure. Well, Still I hope you save some of that money because you're your going to need it without a job. Still second income. Your ass and yeah, sure. Anytime, anytime you're ready. <laughs> you again. got beat by a midget. Let's just do a street fight. <laughs> you got beat by a midget, you yeah. fat bastard. Yeah, but you're unemployed. Trim spot my ass. You see, I got a shift now, and you don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. Well, when yeah. Howard goes, we'll see yeah. who's still on Everybody's the air. Everybody's listening from two to six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm, I know. Well, I'm on the air, and you're not. Yeah. Jack we'll see ass. how long. I'm... Hey, go answer. <laughs> two to six becomes answer, Sunday. Go Sunday answer nights a phone. at eleven. Go answer a phone. <laughs> we'll see how. Call the time. How long you last? Go answer a phone, John. I give him two months. Go hey, John, aren't phone. those phones ringing? I Go think they are. To talk to Cabby. <laughs> yeah. I give him two months. Go see who's, who's looking for me. Go see who wants to talk to me. I make more answers on the phone than you do on your 2 to 6 a.m. air shift. You think? 
John, you're being back in. So, so, Cabby, I'm curious about you. Um, I know you're going to get back into it with John, but before you do that. Yeah, that's inevitable. I'm shocked that he asked to be separated from Kane. Yeah, I well, thought you were in love with Kane. I doubt that's true. Why is your dog's ass in the air? I don't know. She's just, is she beckoning for me or something? Robin's right. I shouldn't bring the dog in because it, it distracts, distracts everyone. I'm sorry. John, it's whenever a there's a guest, dog. you're supposed to bring the dog out. Um, uh, you know, I, Kane and I worked together for uh, coming up on four years, and uh, Kane brought me to New York, and we had a great, great time, but I just felt that it was time for me to do something more. I just wanted to get your own thing going. Yeah. And Are did you, you talk to Kane about that? Uh, your feelings? Yeah, I had expressed my feelings over the past two years that I wanted to do it, and they're really with... Uh, and you guys were fighting every day. Yeah. Yeah, we, not, we didn't fight every day, but, you know, with uh, with Steve Kingston here, there yeah. really wasn't an opportunity for that. Right. And uh, the new boss, uh, especially since he's uh, shaking things up, John got fired, and... Uh, and <laughs> There's all kinds of uh, new, new and uh, new energy. Yeah, there is a there's a great new energy. Are you going to follow the station. format, or will you break format like you've done in the Fo past? You know what? He looked me right dead in the eyes and said, "You play one song out of the playlist, I will fire you." And, and you got that. And I got it. I'm I'm not messing around. Right. And Keep was, your job. And it was funny because tonight on the overnight, this morning, whatever. I got like three calls. Hey, will you play some Slayer like you did last time? I remember when you did that. Don't do it. No, I won't. You got a good gig. I do. I got a great gig, and he's given me an opportunity that uh, I didn't think I'd ever have. And you know what? I'm I'm doing it. He. How many records you play in an hour? Uh, you know, whatever the playlist says. Right, and then and then what? Do you, well, during the breaks, you come on. You go, hey, he, cab, there's he, a cabbie. Yeah, he, well, he, he talks does. a little he, bit. He says a few. Very, things. very little, because yeah. you know, Rob actually showed me. You know, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. Right. You know, you're in it for the long term. Yeah, he's showing me. He's giving me lessons on how to do it, how to be a disc So you're listening. Yeah. Okay. I'm well, listening 100. percent That's good to hear. And you know what? He actually took me aside and, and gave me this opportunity. He thought it would take like months for me to get where I'm at right now. So he I'm feels actually, you're growing as a disc jockey. Yeah. He, he felt yeah. that you had potential, whereas John did not. Right. Yeah. Me right on the air by myself without without having me record my show in a studio. <laughs> put me right on the board all by myself. That's a uh, cabbie Kasem. Oh, right. Well, <laughs> well, now the, the, there's more controversy, Howard. Okay. What is that? Because you know Dead Air Dave, who works here, mm -hmm. you know part of his deal was he was going to work on the button in exchange for a guarantee of three overnights a week. Right. Now he's listening to this and realizes where's his three overnights a week. Good. I'm not. I, I, I hope. I, I, hope yeah, I hope he quits in protest. Yeah. Let's hope he quits because <laughs> that, the other day I saw you bleep me for saying like anal sex or something. I mean, it's it's out of control. In fact, give me that memo. I got to take it. it up with that genius Tom. I don't believe that I'm getting every overnight. I I just uh, Rob, no. You should you should get every overnight. You, yeah. The people are going to love you so much. You should be there every night for them. You, you Will you have to adjust your medication, like what time you take it and stuff, now that you're working the overnights? Uh, no, I still take it because it's a it's a, in your blood. Yeah. Right. Why is there a dead mouse uh, right here in front of me? Let me say. Is that real? No. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, that's gross. Is that like in a trap? No, yeah. that's, a, that's real a real dead thing. mouse. That's yeah, a real one. Yeah, but I'm saying it's in one of those sticky things. <laughs> yeah, but it's a dead mouse. What dead is mouse. that? I was like, gross. I thought it was fake. That is so sickening, I can't oh, even begin to tell you. There? I swear to God, I thought it was like one of those fake mice. Yeah. What is it, Kate? Hey, um, I was going to wait and show you that until after you ate breakfast. Oh. I found, I found Thanks for setting it right in front of me. What? 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 I uh, I didn't want you to see it when you were eating breakfast, so I was going to wait. Yeah. But uh, I found it yesterday. I knew there was something that smelled around my desk. Yeah. So it was. That's where it oh, was. I didn't even know there was glue traps over there. Is how that about why your desk is all cleared out like that? Yeah, I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. Uh, how about when I found in my desk a whole right. family of rats living in there? In this that building? Was another building. No, that was the oh. other building. That we was the always other building. bring them with us. I had a whole bunch of like newspapers. They were all shredded up and stuff in there. They built a nest and everything. You know, the best thing to do when you find a mouse is keep it for a couple of days, Casey. Yeah, no, no, hey, no, Casey, dude, why don't you take it and no, throw it out? I brought it because it's it's all uh, skeletified. Because no like, one will believe you. Dude, dude, <laughs> take it and throw it out. Yeah, it's why did you think Howard you needed it. to see it? You could just tell me about it. Did you bring it home? Well, I wanted to show it to you. It's all, look at it. It's all decomposed. It's like a it's skeleton. Right, right. It's a mouse. Take it and, and throw yourself in the garbage with that. You get a trap for Casey. Where's the bowl of water for the dog. Right here. That's oh, a Bianca. bowl? That's a dish. How you doing, Bianca? That's a platter. Hey, you got to meet Milton. You put down a platter. <laughs> Howard, you got to meet Milton. Is that your dog? My Jack Russell. I don't, I don't He'd know. really like to get up on Bianca. Oh dear. Yeah, he's he's spade. He's, he's he can do he's, whatever he wants. That's all right though. He's right he's right in the pink lipstick mode. You know what I'm saying? With the where he grabs the air and humps it. Hey Casey, go throw out the mouth. He's got this great little set of black balls. I'm about to chop off. 
All right, let, let me get back to the radio. Session. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that was gross. Yeah, because you're... Speaking uh, of black balls, let's thanks for leaving a mouse here. Yeah, a dead mouse right in front he, of me. I'm like... He kept it for a day. Oh, look, and got... why don't you bring me your latest bowel movement, too? <laughs> he's got a note yeah, on a post Casey's it. mouse. So no one, like, takes it home. I found the coyote. <laughs> don't but steal now it. But contaminated everything over there. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's gross. It smells nice over here, too. We'll wash up after the interview. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> my cab driver hit a cat. I thought you might want to say. <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure so I brought it in it. for you. Mike, go ahead. You're on the air. Howie, right, what's up, brother? Hey. Listen, uh, well, first of all, I probably got more of that time than John does now. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> big fan, big fan. Yeah. Listen, uh, I wonder if Cam is going to go back to picking up the, uh, the old crack pipe now that there's nobody to supervise them on overnight. What about that? You're dumb with crack, right? No, I, I will never do that stuff again. I'm, I'm, you're sure of that? Please. Look yeah. at me. Are you taking a meeting every once in a while just to make sure? <laughs> he just said to me, look at me. Look at me. That means you're going to do it again. I'm completely stable. <laughs> what would yeah. I see in you that looks different that would convince me you wouldn't go back yeah, on You look like the same I've, guy. I've got way too much to lose. Right. I, I, you know, no. Did Chuck speak to you about crack and everything? Uh, and... No, that never came up. We, Chuck you... and I... What? Get tested periodically. I'll, I get tested right now. You, you want to get, test me for drugs? Test no, no, me. no. I was only asking, yeah. asking if the company. Had Will you a hold the cup? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So and my package. All right. So the point is, the new lineup here in New York is me in the morning. Right. Is Julie still here? Yes. Okay. Julie's, Julie's still here. Midday. Yeah. Then Kane yes. on his own without you. Yes. I will still, uh, as far as Rob told me, I will still. Well, you know, like when bands come around and stuff, uh, still do some stuff with Kane and maybe do go out and do some street stuff or okay. whatever. I will make some appearances there. That's good. I think your fans would like to see you guys reunite <laughs> every once in a while. That's right. My you know, fans. Sort of like Martin and Lewis. But I heard right. that, I heard that uh, yesterday you were going to reunite with uh, Kane and then he didn't want it. Well, they, I think it kind of got thrown on him and he was, uh, you know, because Kane had, had, had always had someone with him for seven years. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was kind of pulled back away from him. And uh, we were just going to kind of talk about the whole Metallica thing yesterday. Yeah. Great concert. Uh, you guys you missed. You didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, it was the it. most incredible concert I've ever and seen Kane, in my life. And then Kane said well, no. Kane, well, Kane just got a little, uh, uh, he wasn't happy about the you whole, being there. Well, yeah, he he said what I can't talk about things on my own, and yeah, it just it just. Who did he say this to? Chuck uh, roast. Really? Me? Talk oh, to you? Yeah, he. We, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, he would. He would. Uh, yeah. All right. So yeah. okay. But, uh, so Kane, and then, you know, Kane, dude, and Maze Let got me fired. get this straight. Yeah. Kane brought me to New York. All right, I would we never know you be like on the Kane. radio. Okay. In New York City, if it uh, wasn't for Kane. All right. I have the Fair utmost enough. respect and dignity. Kane is, you know, Kane is one of the greatest rock and roll DJs. He wouldn't be on the afternoon in New York City if he wasn't a great jock. You have the utmost respect and dignity? For Kane. Oh, for Kane. <laughs> yeah, he has no respect. What is he, Gary? We were just saying out there, like, how long do you think it'll be? Like, everything's great right now. Right. A month and a half from now, you know, medication's off a little bit. The station does something to piss him off, and then he starts playing his own song. Something's going to go wrong. It's not going to happen. All I can tell you is something will go wrong. You know what? I got, I know big, I got bigger goals and aspirations what than working the overnight with, here. By the way? Probably a dead mess. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what you got? An ass. It's a fake it's a ass. ass. <laughs> and I just took a paper cup away from her. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm she, glad to see your she dog's being supervised. <laughs> she's, she's bored. My dog eats my coffee table, so don't feel bad. <laughs> you can get her bones. Go buy her. Sex <laughs> toys. <laughs> How long. did she get a hold of the fake ass? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what you're saying is... You're good. So wait a second. So the Maze got fired. Yeah, Maze. Well, uh, I, how long Maze? Has been yeah, Maze. Uh, I don't even know Maze. I don't. Know Maze that. was a great guy. Uh, Maze. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't know that I can go into that story. What? But, what? Well, you got canned. Yeah, he got canned. But what story can't you go into? I heard during the blackout they wanted. This is what I heard that they wanted Maze to stay here and do extra time or or show stay up somewhere else, something? stay on the air, and he wasn't here, and Tom got pissed. Oh. so that was the that's end of what that. Happened to him? I'll just play the fifth on that whole story. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and there's something like that. But like I said, I'm just gonna just. Well, I'm you happy to do my overnights, and uh, <laughs> but like I said, my goal is not overnights, and you know I got I got big plans here. Yeah, you want right. Kane's job. 
<laughs> right. Hey, you know what? Eventually, I want everybody's job because right. you know, do we do we do something half ass or do we, you know, someday you're gone. Right. You I want, want you. I want your job. Oh, there. All right. There That's all right. Go. That you're thinking big. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Hell. All right. Leave Kane alone. I want I want <laughs> the uh, to be uh, Cabby and Kane again. Uh, Andrew, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Howard, big fan. E -e -e -e. Hey. Hey, uh. Cabby, now that you have your own show, are you allowed to talk on mic? Because Kane would, would make you always stay in the background. Uh, yes, I, I am allowed to talk on mic very uh, briefly, but, uh, yeah. Well, there you go. Let's yeah. see. Uh, well, one Kane, me, Kane never, like, made me stay in the... going to be chewing on a straw. I don't want her to hurt herself. <laughs> oh, she's fine. Straws Leave are alone. okay right. for dogs. Rich, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, she's... how you doing, Howard? Yeah. Uh, you know, honestly, I think Cabby, I think you're nothing without Kane. I don't think you're going to make it without Kane. <laughs> well, I, we got to find out. I appreciate uh, that. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, that's the latest going on at the radio station here in New York. Yeah, there is a big shake up. Big shake up. New Who program took director. Job? Uh, actually, Danny's been doing it. Danny Two Guns. Who's, Who's that? that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just what we call her. She's just hot, beautiful. Hot girl? You've never met Danny? Here? Come on, you know Danny. Danny Two Guns? Oh, she's got just. The oh, two guns refers to her chest? Huge breasts. Oh, my God. She's is so she a reg hot. She's a dish jockey? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I know Sexy Danny. Boy. Yeah. You know Danny. I see her in the hall sometimes. She used to do overnight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now Danny. she's doing uh, She's doing what Mays did. Wow. Yeah. No kidding. Oh, yeah. I say they should have a webcam in the studio. Oh, oh listen to <laughs> Right on her chest. Right? <laughs> see, now that's good radio, right? <laughs> we don't even have to broadcast the station over the Internet. We just have a webcam on the website. Yes, Chris, you're on the air. And some hey, Howard, two oil. Months, he'll be back on crack. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, something strange happens when you, when you have to work the midnight shift. Right. And you do the overnight, and you don't see the sun. Your sleep patterns are uh, so you give him. Up. You give him two months. Two months. All and right. Take a homo will be walking down the street with his Jack Russell Terrier. What kind of dog is that, you faggot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're jealous. Oh. Those are the smartest dogs in the world, you prick. You're a homo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Come over here. I'll give you something to. Homo on. <laughs> Hi, Cabby. It's me, Mario from Brooklyn. Congratulations. Yeah. You got yeah. your own spot. By, I, two o'clock is a good time for me to hear you. I don't know if I'll be able to listen at 12. But, Howard, thank God you're back. I All can't right. believe you're back. Howard, what kind of shoes did you wear to P. Diddy's party? Uh, just like... Uh, White sneakers? No, diesel. They were brown. They almost threw me out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Howard, I can't believe you had P. Diddy's. It wasn't as good as, as we thought. Right, Howard? Uh, yeah, it was It was fine. He was very gracious, but, I mean, it wasn't my scene. Howard, I love you. I'm so glad you're back. All Howard, right, I'm alive again. Thank you, Howard. All right, baby. Love you. I love you. Very <laughs> nice. Do you feel like you have to pack heat when you go to a party like that? <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah. Cause cause it was there. fine. It was very safe. They had more black guys with their arms folded being security people than guests. Yeah, right? With a lot of big, attitude. Big arms. Folded. Big arms. Big arms. It's and, uh, amazing they can fold those arms. Exactly. <laughs> I just think it's weird that those guys want to behave like police officers, but they hate the police. Well, they hate the police, and they're all packing heat, and they're not supposed to be packing heat. I don't know if they were packing heat. How do you know? Oh, you know what they're, they're packing heat. Oh, oh, Cabby oh, knows. I know. All right, listen, Cabby, yes. congratulations. Thank you very much. I, I didn't know if you were it. happy about your overnight shift. I'm very but... happy. This right. is what I wanted. This right, is, I asked for it. Well, I didn't actually ask for, you know, I just asked to What do you do now? You go, you go home and go to sleep? Yeah, I go home and crawl into bed next to my hottie and, uh, you know, see if I can't get me a little sugar and all right. Why you turn just... the radio on and listen the to Jack Russell. Has she started doing her mortician thing yet? Uh, yeah, she's uh, working on getting an internship. You know any any places? Right? Yeah, she's a, we're at a mortuary? Yeah, she, <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty. She, <laughs> Well, She's a lucky woman. You're going to go crawl into bed and bang her in there. Yeah. Wow. 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 Good for you. From behind. Good for you. Right? I can Always only imagine. You've seen Always. her. Always. Beautiful hottie, girl. Right? I, I hope she survives. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot to put her through. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Listen, good for you. And uh, we'll uh, be back right after these words. We have a huge show for you today. We'll hey, be back. Howard? Yes. Uh, don't forget to listen to the Cabby Show from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Hey, can I ask you a question seriously? Yeah. I don't yeah. mean this is a, a joke or anything. Yeah. Because you've been with men, do you ever pretend she's a guy? Uh, no, not mind? once. Actually, no. From I don't. Behind. Listen, I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was everything from behind. Well, uh, that's just one position we do. But no, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. That stuff was so long ago, and I was so young when I did it. I don't. You can forget that. 
I don't I don't visually think about that at all. You don't think ever. you ever want to go back to that? No. Or, or never, sometimes like when you're with her, you wish it was she was a guy. Never, not once. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you, the last, the honest to God. I, I talked. To, I I read an interview with Anne Hayes. She was with Ellen DeGeneres, and she's like, you. She says, well, that was my past, and now I'm with guys. Listen, she doesn't think about this, it either. She doesn't Listen. think about it. <laughs> the last time that anything like that ever happened, I got physically ill. And okay. this is, uh, I, because I, I was wondering, okay, which way, where am I going here? And I got physically ill. It's not, not the way, man. Why, why do you still hit on KC? It's a joke. It's a man. joke. It's a, I right. bust his balls. You guys call him a homo every freaking no, day. No, but you've asked him, you've said, I want to perform oral sex on you. And when you guys mean, how, you I've said it to you. And you weren't on the air. I, I know you. you have. Right. And we weren't on the air. It doesn't seem like you're kidding. Wait a second. What? Cabby. Yeah. W maybe a month ago, we yeah. were in the studio. Right. Uh, one in the afternoon. And we wrestled? Yes. Yeah. And you were trying to grab his package, and you were wrestling him, and it was like like it was laughing and locker room-like, but it wasn't funny to me. It was funny to us. We had fun with I don't, it. it didn't and he like took me down. That guy's strong, man. Casey's nope. very strong. I know why you keep him around. You That's were right. trying. He would... He would break anybody who got near you, man. You Except for Gary very, Busey. You found that very impressive. Yeah, I, I was very impressed. <laughs> I, you know what? Took you I, down? Because sometimes muscle guys aren't that strong. Right. I'll tell you what. You mess with KC, he will hurt you. Take me down! <laughs> <laughs> Take me down to Chinatown! <laughs> All right, Cabby, hey, 2 to 6. Don't forget. In New York. 2 to 6 in New York, uh, a.m., not right. p.m. anymore. Right. And uh, you know the deal. You want to lose 100 pounds. <laughs> Like Anna Nicole, one eight hundred trim spot. Bianca, right. you are the cutest dog I've ever seen next to my Jack Russell. Right. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back right after these words.